You will not agree with us if you are content with things as they are. If you are willing to let this country just drift to disaster. But you will at least hear us with sympathy if you are aware of the gravity of the national situation. If you believe that government by talk must at last give place to government by action. We believe that we cannot muddle through this time. But we also believe that with effort and with organization, this country can be greater and more prosperous than ever before. We do not propose dictatorship because the control of an elected parliament is still retained. But we do propose a drastic revision of the parliamentary machine in order that the will of the people may be carried out. We have no real democracy at the present time because again and again since the war the country has voted for great changes and for decisive action yet again and again their will has been thwarted by obstruction in the talking shop at Westminster. Britain was founded, the British Empire and everything else that we have was founded by heroism, men who went out to the far corners of the world and did heroic things but it should be constructive heroism in the service of a great people, in the service of humanity, uh, people who, who've done marvels in, in medicine and in science and that sort of thing are equally heroic. It's not simply a military virtue, but I think an element of heroism is what is perhaps lacking today, but I'm convinced the British people are still capable of it, and in a great crisis can show heroic qualities which should be evoked. There is the permanent, the mighty mood of Britain, we say that England is not finished. We say that England is not dead. We say, and I ask you to say with us, lift up your voices in this great meeting in the heart of England. Send to all the world a message. England lives and marches on. True democracy only begins when the will of the people is carried out. For that purpose, we propose a new machine. A fight lies before us, a fight for action, for vigor, for vitality and manhood in government. A fight against the forces of drift, of despair.